Hi, it's Bernie Goldblatt on the 12th of October, 2014. Listen to Pilgrim Chris on Voicebow. Good morning, folks. It's Pilgrim Chris. It's a glorious Sunday, sunny morning here in Derbyshire, England, United Kingdom. And I'm just on my way to meet up with my son to go out for some dinner together and enjoy the weather. And I thought I'd record a, a voice bow because I wanted to talk about, again, communities and audio. I use a number of audio apps, really, but I use two major ones. I use Voicebow, of course. I still use another one called Audio Boom. And I made a Voicebow recently about community about trying to get people, not trying to get people, but suggesting ways that people can share their audio content to a wider audience and to generate a community of people that um, want, to, want to listen to other people's audio. And what I suggested was an audio page on Google+. Now there is an audio page on Google+, and again I'll put a link to that in the description of this voice bag so you can go and find it if you wish. And the reason I like that is because whatever platform you use to record audio, you can share that audio to Google+, Plus, like I'm going to share this voice bow there, and other people can listen to the audio if they wish, and people in the community will listen to different audio, hopefully. Now, I had a comment from a friend of mine on Audio Boom who said that they would only listen to Audio Boom audio because the reasoning behind it was that it was sort of difficult to keep downloading different apps and things to listen to various audio. Well, the thing is you don't have to, certainly not with Voicebow, and not even with Audio Boom, because what it does is it generates a link to the audio, and you click on the link, and with Voicebow particularly, it just opens it up in a web browser, in a very simple way, very, in the same way that you we would use Voicebow now. Um, you don't have to have the Voicebow app to use it. The one thing that I like about Voicebow is that the interface, the user interface, is the same across the web, across the app. Um, it's just the same. It just works really, really well. And um, so recording links to audio, sorry, recording audio and sharing a link is very simple. Somebody can just click on the link and listen to it. It'll open it up very simply to listen to. Don't need the app. And it's actually easier than using Audio Boom for that purpose. Audio Boom is a little bit more complicated in certain areas. Not in all, but in that particular case it is. Um, but when I say complicated, it's not um, difficult by any stretch of the imagination. Again, you just click on the link and it's just a little bit... See a little bit slower to to actually start listening to the audio. Um, but that said, my my thing is just to try and share audio. Really, I'd like to listen to people. I have I have friends on different audio platforms, and I'd like to be able to listen to them all without jumping into into different apps to do so. But this means that we, as a user would have to share our content outside of the platform that we're using it. So if we're a Voicebow user or an Audio Boom user or a SoundCloud user, it would mean that once we record the audio, we would have to share that audio to somewhere like Google Plus to enable others to listen to it, others outside of our own communities on our own platforms. And I don't think it's for everybody. So if you want to join a, a wider community, and it's not just about listening to audio either, by the way, on um, the Google Plus page, it's about talking about audio, about hints and tips, about what's going on in the audio world, and we're trying to build that, we're trying to build that page up a little bit. So if you want to head over and share your comments, or if you want to share your audio, or you just want to get involved and talk about things in a different way, Head over, head over to the Google Plus page I've called Audio on Google Plus, and the link's in this bow. I just wanted to say that it's really hard to connect with, um, with Google Plus if you're dependent upon 
of a VI type of interface. It just really, t- it's hard, it's cumbersome. And the closer you can make Google Plus to a listserv, like an old mailing list, the greater an opportunity you're going to have of including everybody, including me, on my sucky 2G connectivity a third of the day. So I just can't, I can't even get Google Plus with um, high-end phones that I use. And I'm across three major platforms, Android, iOS, and Windows Phone, but all bets are off if you're not on Wi-Fi or, or 3G. I mean, listen to Mac. He'll tell you what it's like. He walks in the wrong direction out of his front garden. So the other thing I'm, I'm kind of interested in is knowing that most people that I follow who do audio logs don't do navel gazing into the technology or the the sharing of the audio. They share experiences, and they really, really couldn't be bothered with um, technical stuff. It's just the alpha geeks. I mean, I'm interested in it, but I'd say easily more than two-thirds of the students I teach in a creative media program, they wouldn't be interested in the technical stuff. They just want to make it work, get it done. And the same thing would go for a lot of the busy people I know that that use VoiceBo or SoundCloud or Libsyn or or Audioboo. So I I don't know. Um, I'll continue following the Google Plus community, audio community, but I... um, I just enjoy the rabbit holes of where people are on Instagram or Flickr or Twitter or Foursquare or Tumblr or their own blogs. And if you're on Medium or Quartz, let me know. You're a deep thinker then. Okay, I'm Bernie. I'm props to Cook and Chris for raising the issue. Um, I'm Top Gold on Good Social Networks.